VBOX products are used by companies around the world to capture data for automotive testing. To transform this data into meaningful information, you need data analysis software. VBOX Test Suite is the next generation of race logic software designed to accompany the VBOX product range. Test Suite has been designed to make data analysis quicker and easier for test engineers, with each test category having its own internal plugin. Think of it as a Swiss Army knife, having all the tools required to complete multiple tasks in one package. VBOX Test Suite is available to download by visiting the software page on the VBOX Automotive website and selecting the Data Analysis tab. When accessing the software for the first time, you'll be asked to register by filling in a short form. You'll then receive an email with a link to complete the registration process. An internet connection will be required to register successfully. VBOX Test Suite is only compatible with Windows operating systems using .NET Framework 4.6 or higher. This means it will not work with Windows XP or earlier versions of Windows. All windows within VBOX Test Suite's workspace can be customized to suit your testing needs. The workspace layout can be easily changed by toggling sections on or off in the selection bar, and each window can be resized by clicking on and dragging the lines separating each area. The workspace can be reset to the default layout at any time. A selection of different gauge types is available, so you can choose the best way to display your data. The first one in the list is the angular gauge, which is commonly used to display speed, but can also be used for a range of other channels. The second is the default text gauge, which can be used to display all data channels. Up next is the level gauge, which can only be used to show satellite signal, solution type and brake trigger channels. The fourth type is the target gauge, which is ideal for monitoring a vehicle's slip angle and roll rate. Last on the list is the chart. This gauge is mostly used to display values against time and can only be used when the software is connected to a VBOX in online mode. There is also the option to show the vehicle's position, but again this will only work when connected to a VBOX as longitudinal and lateral data is needed. You also have options to change the position of a gauge, alter the data channel that a gauge displays, change the format of a gauge, such as text and background colors, and for some gauges, amend the smoothing level. Unwanted gauges can be removed by simply selecting them and clicking Close, whilst the dashboard can also be reset to the default view at any time. Extra graphs can be added to the chart area by selecting more channels from the drop-down X and Y axis menus. The data from these different channels can then be directly compared by dropping one chart onto another and changing the color of the trace of one of the sets of data. You can zoom in and out and pan around the data by either selecting the zoom and pan options from the menu or by clicking and holding the left mouse button and dragging the mouse right to zoom in and left to zoom out. Markers can be added to the data so you can select the section you wish to analyze, with the measure tool then providing an overview of the speed, elapsed time and distance traveled between the points. If you select further channels, these will automatically be added to the measure tool, which can be saved as a .csv file or exported to a clipboard. The cut feature can be used to remove data either side of the markers or remove the area selected. The map area of the workspace provides you with the position of the vehicle derived from the lateral and longitudinal data logged by the VBOX. 
you can zoom in and out or pan around the map area to take a closer look using the tools labelled in the menu or by clicking and holding the left mouse button and dragging over the selected area. You can reset the zoom level at any point. The scale at the edge of the map can either be shown or hidden and you can choose between a plotted background or satellite aerial view. The Center on Vehicle option allows you to keep the vehicle in the center of the map and is the default view when in online mode. When Center on Vehicle is selected, you can also choose the Vehicle Up feature, which changes between the crosshairs altering their direction of travel to the vehicle continuously pointing upwards and the aerial view orientating around the motion of the vehicle. A vehicle overlay option has been added to the software to allow you to input the test vehicle's dimensions and overlay this shape on top of the crosshairs, giving you the ability to visualize the position of the vehicle during the test and instantly see separation distances. A video enhanced data logger can be used either alongside other VBOX equipment or by itself to provide a real time visual aid when analyzing tests' results. To run the video in the software, you'll need to install a 64 bit version of VLC Player. The video menu is very simple to navigate, with play, pause, and stop functions available. When a point in the chart is selected, the video will update, making it possible to see what was happening at that exact moment during the test. When you select the Video Stop function, the cursor will revert back to the beginning of the test. To open a data file in the software, click on the Load icon and select the file's location. By then clicking Options, you can select and save the parameter settings you wish to use. You can also open a file within the software by double-clicking on the .vbo file itself. To close a particular file, simply click on the File List icon and select the cross next to the file's name. To configure your VBOX using the inbuilt setup software, simply open Test Suite, connect your VBOX, and select the VBOX Setup icon. When in online mode, the software will automatically recognize that a VBOX has been connected, but in offline mode, you'll need to use the drop down menu to select the port the VBOX is connected to. Once connected, you can apply the correct configuration to the VBOX. You are then ready to begin testing. Adding a test to run on the data is simple. Once you've loaded the data file into the software, just click on the plus icon and select a test. Any tests with a favorite star next to the title will appear on the list of applications shown on the home menu for easy access. After you've chosen the settings you wish to use, the software will automatically apply the selected test to the loaded data. You can then click on the Load icon and choose a different data file. This will open the data in a separate tab but will apply the same test parameters as before. Multiple data files can be loaded into the software at the same time to allow you to compare data side by side and see trends or differences in performance. Multiple tests can be run in the VTS software using the same data file. This allows you to save time on track by performing a range of tests in a single run. Once the data file has been loaded into the software and a test selected, you can open a separate tab by selecting the plus icon. A new workspace layout can then be added to this tab and a new test selected. After setting the test parameters, all relevant runs will be shown in the workspace for this new test. By giving you the option to split multi-test runs into separate tabs, it simplifies analysis and saves you time processing data. 
By opening the configuration menu, the test parameters can be amended. This means you can change the start settings or even add pass conditions to meet different regulation standards. If you do change the test settings, the software will automatically rerun the test using the new parameters. By clicking on the plus icon, new data channels can be shown in the test results workspace. All results can be shown in ascending or descending order and key information about the tyres used or weather conditions encountered can be easily added to the file through the session data window. Test runs can be selected individually and an average of the selected runs can also be shown on the results chart. All selected results, charts and session data can then be exported to a comprehensive report to be printed or saved.